welcome back to the channel or if you are new here welcome to the channel my name is sj i'm an adult doll collector who just wants to talk about dolls this is an adult channel meant for adult doll and toy collectors so the monster high sculptimate secrets iridescent line has officially been released and i've only seen them at target i haven't seen them at walmart so i'm almost like so did the Monster High Ultimate Secrets Wave 1 get released at Walmart and Wave 2 is going to be released at Target? Is that how they're going to do it? I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking. But I went to Target while on vacation and I found Frankie. So here's the box. And they are still in the coffin and... While I love the whole coffin locker type of aspect packaging thing they have going on, what am I going to do with all of these lockers? What am I going to do with all of them? Because they've already got like a wave three planned, which means more lockers. So what am I going to do with all of them? I know you can hang them on the wall, but still. I don't know what to do with all these lockers. But here is Frankie's box with that beautiful artwork. And it says the same stuff, like 125 plus looks, 19 plus surprises. So it basically says kind of like the same thing that the Wave 1's Ultimate Secrets line said. However, this one is just fearadescent. Look at that pun, fearadescent. And this is the back of the box showing the other dolls that are in the line. I have bought Cleo. Claudine is on pre-order. I have Draculaura. I still need Laguna. But if you are interested, there is the barcode. Like I Alright, I got the packaging off of it, but the doors and everything on these ones are a little different than the wave one. So I'm guessing this is like a winter type theme. So these almost look like ice, almost like on the door. Like this is all like raised to look like it's made out of ice. And then each of the doors is a different color, except for right here, this is like sparkly. The back is still a spiderweb type pattern and they still have the holes on the back for you to be able to hang it on the wall if you don't have shelf space but i'm running out of shelf space and i'm running out of wall space with all these Ultimate secret ones that are coming out so let's go ahead and open this locker door and pray to the doll gods that frankie looks decent i do I had to adjust the lighting because there's a storm coming in. So hopefully the lighting is a little bit better, but let's open the door. Fingers crossed, Frankie's gonna look decent. <sighs> okay, so their face looks okay. It's the bangs and i've seen this on just about every single doll the bangs just don't look right and i don't know if they made them too short or if it has something to do with the poly hair but yeah moving on here is Frankie's locker door for this wave. So we have like a little banner right here that has lightning bolts. Mirror that says spark kindness. It's like little piping. I love this. Little outlet. Makeup palette in the shape of a coffin. And this is, I guess their phone. I can't read what that says though, but it looks like they're playing the guitar. On the bottom, we have this hairspray. Does that say bolt, hold? What does that say? I can't tell, but it's, I believe it's hairspray. And hair dryer. 
or is that a razor like a shaver i love this love this the hand with the ring that says zap all these little are these nails cute oil the belt that their cordal was wearing that says frankie all these this little detail like the little oil and everything i don't know i love it let's go ahead and get them out so we can take a closer look at them if you are interested what the back of their locker looks like on the, the background behind the doll because wave one had all different ones this is what frankie's looks like with a little stitched heart and a bolted on lightning bolt cute and just like in wave one there is a color reveal technology am i going to do that no i'm not going to so yeah i don't know what color this is what color is that can't tell anyways let's let's look at frankie so the more i was looking at him when i got them out of the locker the bangs don't look that terrible like i have seen some where the bangs will just like fan out horribly at least this one does not uh so it's okay makeup this time this beautiful glitter lip and you it feels like glitter does it rub off no eyeshadow has glitter there is glitter on their face i don't know what that's coming from if it's coming from the eyeshadow the lips, I don't know. They look decent, so. The hair is poly. I don't like it. I don't like how that feels. But I do like that their Frankie's hair in this wave is a lot more like white with um, some black streaks in it. No other color. It's just white and black or is there blue is there blue i can't tell okay so there's like a very 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 light blue underneath their hair so oh hi kitty hey -o. hey -o. hi bud um hello yep mm -hmm. okay you're sweet but you're in the way of the camera. Everybody say hi, Theo. Oh, you're very interested in that doll. Okay, bud. Oh, okay, bye. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's paper. <laughs> Oh my. Okay. Bye. All right, so if you can hear rain in the background, I'm sorry, that's Florida weather for you. If you know, you know. If you don't, be glad you don't know. So Frankie is in their first outfit and I actually really do like this outfit. I love this collar. I love the shirt. It's got like this marbly type effect. It's like white with like this like blue swirl marbly type pattern. The sleeves are like see-through-ish almost. I don't know how to explain it. I just, I love it. It is held in the back by velcro the skirt can you hear that the skirt wow i love it it's like that thick weird crinkly type of material i i don't like it too much but it's like this like iridescent or fearidescent blue color and it, you know it changes to green and everything and that is also, oh, no Velcro. It is elastic waist, so you could just slip it on. As far as articulation goes, they are articulated in the neck, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the chest, 
the hip and the knee. Ooh. So these are the shoes. It's like, it's like a nut. I don't like how the heel is f like flexible like that. But the shoe right here is silver with silver lightning bolts. The bottom, what is that? Just like a really weird type of pattern. I think it's lightning bolts, but I love the heel. I love that the heel is like a nut or like a screw or whatever. The top is like, these are almost reminding me kind of of Rebecca's shoes, the way they're like styled. It's giving me like this like steampunk type of vibe. I love it. The back is lightning bolts, but it's like blue and it fades into silver. One thing that I think is really cool about Frankie in this Viridescent line is their leg, like the prosthetic leg that is always typically like painted silver, is actually like a clearish, icy looking color this time. Um, they don't have like the graffiti on it like they typically do, but I love that they just incorporated this little like detail almost into the doll like it looks like ice almost i love that okay so i just went ahead and opened like all of the doors using the key that came in here because like i said i'm not going to do the water color change aspect so the first one so look at look at this this like oil slick iridescent type of thing we got going on so in the first ultimate series line it was just like a solid color this is like i love this it's all rainbowy and pretty enough about the packaging we're not here for the packaging we're here for what's inside the packaging is that everything yes okay so in this first package we have this little tank top it's blue it's like that pleathery type of material but it is blue with black lightning bolts on it and it is held in the back by velcro cute we have our other key we have the stole I think this is what this is called, a stole. So this side is all furry and it's like a pale blue color with blue lightning bolts on it. And this side is that, what is it, hound's tooth? But the hound's tooth, the hound's tooth pattern, that is very difficult for me to say, almost looks like lightning bolts. Like it's like stitched almost. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, that's what it looks like to me. It's very soft, very, very, very soft. And we have a skirt. How does this go? Maybe. Okay, so it is held by Velcro. So I had to open it up to see how it goes. So this silver zipper goes right here on the side, but it's like rubbery. So think of, um, the only thing I can think of is like Gulia's skirt had like that material on it. It wasn't an actual zipper. So it's silver with the skullette on it. And this is like plaid. It's like black plaid with like the gray lines on it. I actually like this skirt. I actually like that. All right. Next bag. A lot of small pieces. Great. All right, so we have Frankie's necklace. So it's like a layered type of necklace. So the top is a heart with like spikes on it, on the uh, neck part. And then this one, I can't make out what that is. What is that? 
Well, I'm gonna drop it, is what I'm gonna do. I can't make out what that is. Is that a lightning bolt? Something? It's chains, I don't know. And then that is a little lightning bolt pendant. Um, their iconic crown. Love it. I I'm getting like Statue of Liberty vibes, but it's fine. Still love it. Another key. And we have the earrings. So they see a zap. Yes. With a skullet at the top and zap with a little lightning bolt at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, zip, zap. It's supposed to go like this. Zip, zap. That's cute. I like that. All right, our third bag. We have the key ring to put all of the keys on. I love these shoes. I love these. So they're like glittery black boots and they have a white lightning bolt on the side and the bottom is just a lightning bolt i love these love them and we have our last key and the last bag oops and our last bag i'm going to assume it's like all of the like food pieces yeah. So we have a purse and what is that? Like a little lightning bolt with like a little zipper detail and little stuff on the back. Does it open? Yes. Aww. Cute. And this is their makeup palette. It is a black coffin with a skullet on the top, on the front, and you open it, and there is the makeup, like a little mirror. Um, look at that. Look at that. If I could get the camera to focus, one of the eyeshadows has a stitch on it. What? And then, oh my god, oh, it's adorable. It's a Frankenstein monster ice cream. Oh my god, I love it. And a makeup brush. Yeah, not much to say, it's a makeup brush. This, this is adorable. Okay, so I put Frankie in their crown with their zip zap earrings, necklace, their stole, their uh, second skirt, and their ice cream because that is freaking adorable, and their boots, and I love it. Um, so wave one was $30, and wave two is still $30. And I still think for $30, this is amazing. You are getting the coffin locker that you can hang on the wall, set on the shelf, all of these, you know, little accessory pieces and stuff like that. It does suck that the hair is poly on all of them in this wave, but it's actually not too bad. Um, and I think it's because Frankie's hair is straight and there's really not much styled to it. So it's actually decent-ish. But yeah, I I really, this is the first um, Firidescent one that I've opened. And so far I am in love. I think they did an amazing job with all of the pieces and everything. 
I wasn't too sure about it because I was like, how many, how many of these Ultimate Secrets are they going to make? I mean, apparently they've got a whole bunch planned and I love them. I just, I love that we get the, the coffin and the doll and we get all the accessories. I think it's great. I, I think for $30 for this is great versus $30 for the Monster Ball. I still can't understand why Monster Ball is $30, but let me know down below what you guys think of the new Skultimate Secrets Fearidescent line. What do you guys think of Frankie? All that good stuff. And I hope to see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.